So we've got a bit of a uh, bit of comments yesterday about Russell Brand video. First of all, I think we should start this video with a photo. There's a little funny photo there for you. Again, I don't hate Russell Brand. I just share my comments and criticisms. I'm not hating. Just saying, seriously though. I do feel this guy has got a lot of potential, man, but he's fucking wasting it. He's just a corporate puppet, just a shill, doesn't really do much. Talks about issues that don't really matter. People say, oh, housing matters, rent matters. Okay, okay, I agree, but they're very small on the scale of things. What does it matter how much rent you fucking pay if you don't have safe water to drink because it's been used for meat and dairy and pollutants and stuff like that? What does it matter if you've got cheap rent if your fucking oxygen levels are being de decimated by cutting down the Amazon to grow soy to feed livestock or cattle in general? What does it matter if your rent is a bit more expensive if, you, if you've got type 2 diabetes that could have been reversed by your diet? So Russell Brand is put up by the corporations to be a bit of a distraction. You know, people are like, oh, look, Russell, they're all the hippies and all us new ages. Go, oh, Russell, yeah, you're doing great. Celebrities come down from the celebrity chaos and he's, he's helping us out. He ain't doing fuck all, really. I mean, kudos, he's doing something. Something's better than nothing. So double kudos there. So don't get me wrong. I'm giving kudos. I don't hate him. I just want to see him rise to the fucking level that his potential exists of. Versus talk about revolution, spiritual consciousness and awareness. He's not even a fucking vegan. How can the fuck can you talk about spiritual awareness and consciousness expanding, revolutions, free will, breaking out of prison, etc., and not even vegan? How can you, I mean, you can talk about it, but you're not really walking your fucking talk, are you? You can say a lot, but you're not really doing anything about it, okay? So that's my issue with Russell. He doesn't do anything. He just talks. Here's a video. People say that Russell doesn't have any ego. That's fucking bullshit. Check this video out. Personally, what does it mean to you to be involved? What it meant for me is like a lot of like, it sort of really reminds me of my own childhood. The sense of lack of power that you can have if you feel that there's no one out there representing you, no one out there looking after you. And like, I was so inspired when I first met these women and, and it made me think that, it made me realise, I learned, I learned a lot about politics from these women, that you can, if you take things into your own hands, if you directly interact on issues that are important. To you, then you can make a difference. I mean, part of the problem is the super rich buying property in London, isn't it? How, how much did you pay for your place? It's rented, but so, but like, uh, uh, yeah, but like, uh, no, well, no. What, what kind of rent are you paying? Oh, I'm not interested in talking to you about my rent, mate. I'm here to, I'm here to support a very, very important campaign, and you, as a member of the media, have an important duty to help to represent yeah, these no, people. No, but we, we not are, but it's still a point, isn't it? I mean, the, no, the, the, no, the point the is this: the demand that the, the super is, rich are well, putting on the London property market. Unless I don't know, unless you're proposing, unless you're proposing, and no, absolutely not. I would completely deny that. I'd say I'm part of the solution. People coming together to amplify the voices of ordinary people that's precisely what's needed there's no greater more expensive piece of real estate in london than that one and the people in there are the people that have the obligation i'd say, I'd say, your, house is, I'd say your house is nearly uh, uh, well, on well, power. Yeah, well it's rented we don't know the value you'd have to talk to my landlord blessedly i can afford my rent and i'm prepared to stand up for people that can't it's been lovely talking to, to you snides God. like you mate undermine it you're a snide <laughs> all right let's, let's do go. one So we call him Russell a hypocrite. In that video, he wanted to punch out that reporter. The reporter's just doing his job. That's how the poor reporter pays his rent. He gets stories, he gets things, and Russell's part of the media, the guy's part of the media. This guy's just putting a microphone in Russell's face. What he does is what he does for a job. Russell's a celebrity, and he's getting offended when some other, Russell's a celebrity, that's his fucking job, all right? The reporter, that's his job as well, and they're going at it. Russell's about to hit this guy. You can, you can look at the face, man. Look at that face. Russell doesn't have any fucking ego. He got a shitload of ego. I've got nothing wrong with ego, but when you want to punch a reporter in the face, I mean, Russell's he's famous for smashing phones, knocking out cameras, pushing people out of the way. Doesn't have any ego. That's a fucking. That's that's not just ego. That's negative ego. That's aggressive ego. There's a difference between passion and aggression. I would never push a journal or smash someone's camera or phone or whatever because they're taking photos of me. You're a fucking celebrity, man. Get the like. What the fuck? How can you smash someone's camera because they're taking a photo? They're doing their job. They're trying to pay the fucking rent, and you're giving them shit for that. You're smashing their photo, their phone. Because I took a photo of you, the celebrity. If you don't like being a fucking celebrity, relinquish being a celebrity. Live on the fucking street. Get out of your 2.3 million pound uh, luxury place you live in, Russell. Live on the fucking street, man. Move down to Brixton or something. 
So, and then the, the reporter says, how much rent do you pay, Russell? Russell didn't answer the question. How the fuck can you go to a protest or whatever arguing about rent and someone says, how much rent do you pay? That's like me going to a, a McDonald's protest or whatever and the reporter says, what did you have for breakfast doing, Ryder? And I'm like, ah, oh, fuck off. It doesn't fucking matter what. Well. Hypocrite. Russell's a fucking hypocrite. He's a puppet. He's a shill. He's not doing nothing real. All he's doing is provides a good distraction. So if Russell's genuine with his quest, which I think... Fixed part of me says he is, part of me says he isn't. If he's genuine with his quest, he'll get on the vegan bag wagon and use that to fucking spread the message. Because it doesn't matter how much fucking rent you pay if the world's fucking crashing, if the ice caps are melting or cutting down the Amazon. It doesn't mean fucking shit if you're paying a few more pounds a week or whatever. I've been homeless. I've lived on the street. I lived below the poverty line here in Australia. I've lived on welfare for many years. I know what poverty's like in the Western world. I've got no fucking idea what poverty's like in Cambodia, I've been, I've been in orphanages in Cambodia, I can sort of see it, but I don't really understand it, because I've never lived it, Russell's never lived poverty, he's just a celebrity, sport brat, come from rich parents, goes to Thailand with his dad, has drug holidays, whatever, and that's fine, doesn't make him a bad person, I'm just saying that people put him on the pedestal, man, but he ain't the messiah he pretends to be, so my call to Russell is, stand the fuck up, stand up for something real, don't be a hypocrite, who gives a fuck about rent, man, you're renting a $2.3 million mansion, and you walk down the street in your $1,000 Burberry jacket, and say, look, I think this is wrong, and I'll, I'll see you guys later, I'm going to jump in my Ferrari, drive from a fancy highbrow dinner, and go back to my $2.3 million mansion, and pay my 1000 quid a week rent, or whatever you pay, so that's my issue there, that Russell is focusing on shit that doesn't really matter, in the real big context of the things, all right? These things matter, but you know, there's things to do first. Let's clean up the environment. 153 million orphans. Who cares if someone has to pay an extra rent? Get a fucking extra job, work harder. You can do it, I can do it. The kids in Africa, not so much.